What's up, y'all? It's Stun in the building. Today, we're going to take a look at uh, basic mastering. And really, we're game staging into the mixer. But before we get started, y'all, you already know, make sure you check out the book, How to Make Beats, if you want to make incredible beats. So, this topic came up talking to The Wave. Uh, the Wave was talking about, I need, to, I need to get my mixes right, because we're about to make a tape. So... So to make this video um, with gain staging uh, it's pretty easy really um, if you think about it in what's in terms of what's in your channel rack before you send it to the mixer you don't want to overload like all these sounds have this thing be on like level 10 like this and then lower the volume down here um, the key uh, fundamental when you're gain staging and sending stuff to the mixer is you want to do a pre-mix really in your channel rack and by that I mean very specifically in what I do in my techniques I make sure nothing passes this 12 decibel mark um, sometimes um, when you make a beat and you master it you will have like an 808 um, for example, I'll be like, and this one's not too bad, but let's just, for the sake of example, it sounds really crappy. And then you will try to lower it on here. And then what ends up happening, if you do that repeatedly, the mix just gets muddy. You don't want muddy mixes when you're using all these 808s and drums and hi-hats. Because you had 10 instruments in here. Man, it's not going to sound nice. It's going to be... Like... Even if you lower it down here, it just sounds... Muddy. You know? Let me add this. It just sounds bad. Um, to avoid that, let me reset all these values. Get a cleaner beat. You want to gain stage in here. So I look at my mixer. I lower this down. I do not want this over 12 decibels. That's my threshold. Um, I don't know if there's a particular science for it, but that's just what I do. 12 decibels, make the beat come in clean. And then I go into the next instrument, this 808. I go in the mixer. I don't want to send too much crap in there. I mean, you it's almost like putting water down the drain. Like, the drain is only so small, so you want to limit everything. And then you can get rid of all the crap on the bottom, say, if, you're, if you were plumbing, for example. You don't want to put a whole bunch of crap and try to squeeze it down the drain, or you're going to have a bad time. All right, let's look at the kick. This kick is super loud, stupid loud for no reason. Um, with that, cut cut your instruments too, so they don't they don't get too uh, heavy in there with all the extra like sustenance or whatever sustains. So this kick, let's bring that down, twelve dB. Okay, so we got that good. So this still sounds pretty bad, but not nearly as bad <laughs> as it originally sounded like. So from here on, now it's manageable. And I'm actually going to turn off the fruity limiter because I don't really want to use that. And then from there, now you might want to. You might want to master it from there. And then from there, then you start EQing this thing. So I could take off the... It sounds a thousand times cleaner, um, even without the fruity parametric EQ. Um, really, you don't want to jumble those sounds together. And again, use that analogy of... Um, 
you're taking the shower, you got the sink clogged. Why would you have all this water on the top and have all this potential energy going through this drain? You want to stage it. And then manage it in the mixer board. You can make a really clean sound and be it like But that's really how you just start getting into just like what I would say is a fundamental of like mixing and mastering. Always stage it, gain stage it, handle that channel rack, and then make sure from there and then go in your mixer. It will pay dividends on all of your beats and music. I'm telling you, make sure to leave a comment like subscribe this is the first part of it and make sure you check out that book how to make beats i'll see y'all later